Coach, were you ever able to finally just catch your breath last year? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, you know what? It, it, it was uh, it was a wild ride. Something that I'm really proud of uh, the, the way that our guys navigated all of it. Uh, you know, to be honest with you. I, I, I did feel like I caught my breath during the season. We're in football mode, uh, working with great people, working with a great group of student athletes. Uh, it's it's been this off season recruiting, you know, kind of a year first for uh, you know my family and I, and uh, you know uh, still got a lot to learn in this role. After some hurdles, just what did it mean the, to make it to a bowl game after all of that, and then you kind of get a break, and then it's like okay, we accomplished this. What do you take from that? You know, I think the thing that was most valuable was another opportunity with that group. It was such a special collection of, of young men, 103 guys that made the decision to stay and, and to, to have earned an, uh, an additional opportunity to go play together, something that we were all really excited about. I think the thing that you know I'm most proud of in terms of the way that our guys moved through that process is they, they, they knew there was unfinished business. They wanted to, to make sure they put an exclamation point on a season and, and finish the season off right with a win. And, uh, you know, they, they were able to do that. It felt like the expectations from the outside, not internally, were like just survive the season for you. And you surpassed that far and away. How did you get there? Great leadership from within. I mean, great leadership from within. You know, we, we say it all the time. Uh, the great teams are, are player led. And uh, that, that, that's exactly what that team was. A, bu a bunch of young men that uh, were, were taking the lead of myself and our coaches, but finding ways to connect with our team, lead from within, lead, lead away from the facility, lead in the hard times, lead in the good times. Uh, but you know, that group of young men that decided to stay, there was so much hard work that went in, you know, that, the, the previous winter over spring ball, early stages of summer, there was goals, dreams, and aspirations that were on the table, and th there was no way that we were going to sell ourselves short. The expectation within the building was was lofty. Uh, we certainly navigated some ups and downs throughout the season, but but certainly very proud of the way that that our guys navigated and finished. There's going to be a new quarterback under center. What's the pulse of that room right now? You know, I, hungry. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, excited for Jack Lausch. He, he had a great spring. Uh, it really came out of spring. You know, earning. Uh, you know, the edge up going into fall camp. Uh, we were very transparent with that quarterback room in terms of where that all lied and, and the fact that we were gonna, gonna look to potentially bring in a transfer. Uh, we were able to bring in Mike Wright, you know, who was previously at Vanderbilt, had have been heavily recruited from Northwestern out of high school, took a year at Mississippi State and uh, graduated and was, was looking for a new opportunity. Mike has been a great addition to our team, a great addition to the quarterback room. Uh, has been working his butt off. Really excited for the for the competition that will go on in that room this fall. And one of the playmakers those guys are going to be looking to is getting AJ Hanning to come into the program. Just what kind of playmaking does he bring for this offense? He's tremendous. He's just so versatile. You know, any time that AJ has the ball in his hands, it, it's good for the Cats. Whether that be on special teams, whether that be in you know some of the big plays that we saw out of him in the slot, especially in the Utah game and as the season went on, whether that's out of the backfield, whether that's in motion, uh, you know, he's just he's just so versatile, so electric. And, and, and to be honest with you, you know, he's just been such a, a, a pleasant, uh, you know, addition to the team these last two years in terms of the way that he's moved, the way that he's led, the, 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 the example that he's set for, for guys around him. It felt like you guys could lean on your defense a lot and they were a huge part of the success you had. So what do you look to refine this year after so much success last year? I'm really excited for, for our defense, really excited for Tim McGargle. Uh, you know, couldn't think of a better, uh, you know, man to put in that leadership role on the defense. And in the conversations that Tim and I have talked about, you know, th th this is an evolving Big Ten landscape. And with that, we can certainly be proud of some of the things that the defense was able to accomplish last year, but there's a lot of work left to be done. And, and our defense needs to continue to evolve in this changing landscape to make sure that we can defend everything from two back downhill run game to spread tempo offense and uh, some of the things that we're gonna be seeing in this league. But the, the job that Tim, our defensive staff, our defensive players have done over the course of the off season and spring and into summer, uh, really excited about the direction of our defense. So the four new teams in the conference, you kind of hinted at just the changes of not only the amount of offenses you'll see schematically, but there's travel involved, just new opponents in general. What is the biggest challenge of adding four teams to a conference that was already stout? You know, it's really exciting in terms of the talent and the level of coaching and the matchups that it creates. It's it's the logistics, it's the travel, it's the 
you know, wellness of your student athletes in terms of some of the taxing situations that may mean depending on the, the kick time and the travel and when do you play your game next week and, you know, thank goodness for incredible director of football operations and, and support staff and a lot of smart people in our, our, our sports science departments that are going to be keeping their thumb on making sure we're doing everything to make sure that uh, our, our guys are healthy and, and, and ready for the following week. Home games will look a little different. What are some of the, maybe not just challenges with how the home games will be played this year on a different field, but also maybe some things that are a little bit more exciting? You know, I, I think the greatest challenge was, and, and whoever was, in, everyone that was involved with this certainly don't, don't envy him, but it, it was finding a way to bridge old Ryan Field to new Ryan Field. Well, what's waiting in new Ryan Field is so exciting, but bridging that gap is a unique needle to thread. And uh, I'm so excited that what we landed on at the end of the day is, is on campus. Right. Uh, it's in our, the best interest of our student athletes. It will engage our student body. It will put on full display what an amazing campus we have at Northwestern and, and provides an opportunity to create a true on-campus game day environment that's ours. It, it, it will be imperfect. There will be challenges along the way, but at the end of the day, it's on campus. It's engaging our season ticket holders, our students, and uh, is going to be an awfully unique, uh, you know, setting for, for for the next two seasons before we get to the new Ryan Field. Your excitement when talking about this program is pretty evident. It shines through. What is your favorite thing about coaching Northwestern? You know, it's it's the fact that our values align with the things that I think college football is all about. It's a true student athlete experience. I'm so excited the direction that college football is going from a standpoint of further supporting our student athletes. I'm all for it. It's awesome. Uh, excited to you know continue to find the roadmap that's best, but but I absolutely love the fact that at Northwestern, football is still being utilized as a vehicle to help young men earn a Northwestern degree that will impact the rest of their life, and uh, is being used as a vehicle to for young men to uh, develop and, and and set themselves up for uh, you know the man they want to be 20, 30, 40 years down the road. Thanks, Coach. Absolutely. Thank you.